Hello and welcome back to Unavowed. We are still trying to find out something about this burned down homeless shelter and find a way to help Jordan. Let's see what we can find. All right, what's around here? Anything other than the obvious locker? No. Ah, uh, something the matter. This locker is as cold as ice. That is odd, to say the least. How is this possible? This building was on fire not too long ago. I know. Bizarre contradiction, isn't it? That's magic for you. So you believe this is magic related? Are people still saying, duh, because, well, duh. You do it, Eli. Come on, melt! Is everything all right? Everything's fine. It's just something inside is fighting back. There! Nicely done. That's me, Eli Beckett, enemy of ice. Well, that's definitely our cold source, all right. A thick block of ice has formed inside the locker. A faint shape is visible inside. Oh. Uh. Well, Eli up again. Hmm. Now that it's out of the open air, the warm rain is coming down. I should be able to... Another Jesus. body. Look at that. Not a burn mark on him. The ice protected him from the fire? It also froze him to death, but if you want to get technical, sure. It protected him from the fire. What could cause something like this? Well, I might be going out on a limb here, but I'm gonna say magic. Indeed. This cold is not natural. Neither is the smell. Ugh. Does this body look familiar to you? Uh, maybe. It's hard to tell, you know, with all the frostbite and things. I admit, he does look slightly recognizable, but as to whom, I cannot say. This young man is covered in ice. He looks slightly familiar, but you can't quite place it. The more I look at him, the more familiar his face becomes. Do you recognize him, Eli? No, but you're right. He is familiar. Why can't I remember? Holy crap, it's Jordan. Yes, I'm as surprised as you are. The quality of that photo isn't so great, but... It's definitely the same guy. The evidence is undeniable. Jordan sought a way to remove the cold invading his body. It appears he failed. So what did we see in the sewer? Another ghost? No, we would not have been able to converse with it if so. We spoke to Jordan, not a lost spirit. At least, not one in the traditional sense. His soul transmuted escaped his body and became something else. He is alive, just no longer human. He's become a fire elemental, a spirit bound to a body of flame. Can't we reverse it? No, no we can't. And even if we could, his human body is dead. There's nothing for him to go back to. Regardless, we cannot allow a fire elemental to run loose in the city sewers. Let's go back and ask him nicely to leave, I guess. Stranger things have happened. But yeah, talking it over is the way to go. We should hear Jordan out before deciding anything anyway. Right, let's go. What the hell are we going to tell the cop? Whatever you found in there, don't tell me about it. Deniability and all that. Just find the guy who did this. Huh. That makes it easy. Eli, you are scratching the buttons of your coat again, with your fingernail. I am. Yes. You are not even aware of it, are you? Uh, 
Why is this a big deal? It indicates a loss of control. It is minimal, but... Right. I know. I'll work on that. Thank you. Hey, buddy. Faster? We went to the shelter, Jordan. You did? What did you find? How do I put this? You're kind of dead. I'm... what? I'm dead? No, uh, not exactly. You're a fire elemental now. You're alive, you're just in a new body. A body made of flame. That's why the flames are self-sustaining. You aren't on fire, you are fire. So there's no cure? Oh, um, no. Your human body is dead. There's no getting around that. But you're kind of immortal now. That's something, isn't it? You mean I have to live like this forever? Um, yeah. You should have left me in the cold, Master. You should have left me to die. There's got to be something you can do, Eli. <sighs> Yes, there is. I'm a fire mage. I can control and channel fire. Given enough time, I can remove the fire from your spirit. Eli, what you're proposing... ...will be incredibly painful, I know. Painful?! It will feel like being skinned alive. But it will kill me?! Eventually. Then I'll do it! Just don't forget that knife. Will you shut up about your stupid knife? Calm yourself. I will not allow you to do this. Not when there is another way. Another way? There are others of your kind. Fire elementals. A whole world of them. Yeah, in another dimension, across the void. How do you propose to get him there? Jordan is a creature of spirit now, which means he can traverse the void. I can lend him the energy required and show him how to open the way. So he can, what, spend eternity with fire people? Wait, eternity? It is a one-way trip, Jordan. Life there will not be easy, but perhaps you can find a home there, a life. But what kind of life would that be? One that continues. Sure, on an alien world, in an alien dimension, all alone. There will be others of his kind. In time, they might accept him. He won't have to eat any human and if flesh, they don't, will he? He'll be stuck. Eat what? No. His flames are the source of his energy, and will provide most of the fuel required. I will lend him the rest. The effect on me will be minimal. I will recover. So the alternative is to murder him? It's mercy. If I was in his shoes, I'd want the same. It's your decision, Jordan. But you are I. I can't! This is all too much! Master, I know you've done your best! Whatever you decide, I will do! Of course it's up to me, I'm the protagonist. Um... true. Jordan, what's You should go across the void. You'll be happier there. Yes! Yes! Master, you were right! Maybe this is what was meant to be! Maybe you saved me that night for this very reason! Maybe I have some purpose to fulfill in this new dimension. Let's hope so. Okay. I am ready. You two should wait above ground. I will help him transfer across the void. I guess he's on his way by now. Off to his new life. Assuming you can call it life. You think we did the right thing? He has a chance out there. More than he would here. A chance is better than nothing? Maybe. But to live through eternity without seeing another human being? I couldn't take it. I know that much. Jordan's not human anymore. His soul is still human. His mind is still human. Although I'm not him, so what do I know? I know what I am. I'm not entirely normal. But I know that I'm human. I know that I'm me. If I lose that, then I lose everything. So, is he...? Yes, he has gone through the void. 
You look exhausted. Opening the way was more difficult than anticipated. It took all of his energy and a good portion of mine. He did retrieve the ritual knife from me before he left. Yes. Well, that's something. I'll study it back at the lab. I know the routine. I shall call ahead and have pizza delivered. It's like you read my mind. Huh, so this is pretty cool so far. I really like the story and um, the music and the artwork is great as normal, especially the close-ups. Um, really happy with the voice acting too. And it seems like, oh, old photo of yourself, Sammy, Logan, and Jonah. How did this get here? Um, I like that there's a lot of choices to be made and based on what I've heard about the game, um, they do matter and there are multiple endings, but it's not going the sort of telltale route of being like, that choice did something. So-and-so will remember that. The balance has shifted. Um, it's a little more <laughs> subtle, which so far I'm liking. We'll see how it turns out. Good. You are awake. I was hoping to talk to you. Is it a better mission last night? Yes. And... no. You have completed your first field mission. You must have... thoughts. I am curious as to what they are. What are you feeling at the moment? I'm eager to get back out there. That is refreshing to hear. For some of us, the unavowed is a calling. For others, a duty. But for you, I have seen you in action. I have seen you react under pressure. You were clearly meant for this life. All I know is pouring drinks. You misunderstand me. Your old life, your life as a barkeep, prepared you for this. Your empathy, your ability to connect to others. They are qualities we need, quite badly, I must say. You all seem pretty empathetic to me. We are an ancient institution. We need new energy, new minds, new hearts. The Unavowed has been without that for a very long time. At any rate, I detect no falsehood within you. You spoke the truth to me. Thank you. I will return to my training now. Ooh. What's this? Looks like he singed his tree. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I was just reading some old texts with Fireside. Uh-huh. I don't know what that is. Oh, of course. Sorry. It's a fire magic trick. Let's me read any book that was consumed by flame. Neat. It's a bit of a strain on the eyes, but beggars can't be choosers. So what are you reading? It's an old Sumerian text about death magic. Really long, really boring. But I used to read books about S-Corp tax code for fun back when I was an accountant. I can handle boring. Ah, well. See you at the meeting. One quick question. Fire away. You mentioned something about being an accountant? That's right. Back in my mundane days. Back before my powers kicked in. I worked at the firm Weisel, Meltzer, and Sherman. There used to be a Beckett somewhere in the middle of that, but, well... You know. Any thoughts on our last mission? I don't know. I just keep thinking about Jordan, wondering if he's okay. I'm gonna live a long time, but even when I'm dust in the wind, he'll still be out there. I only hope he's still himself. I'll leave you to it. Right. See you around. We have to go talk to old jerk face genie. To send you aid would leave our own domains undefended. You know this, Kalash. Undefended against what? Ours is the only domain under attack. Your charter is quite clear. Recruitment is your responsibility. You accuse me of negligence. 
Just how many agents are currently in your employ? That is precisely the point. We have no agents to spare. I am sorry, Kalash. So am I, Aralax. New York is getting overwhelmed. When that happens, they will come for you. Then we must be ready when it comes. Aralax, out. May Jahannam swallow you whole. Ah, you heard that, did you? Who are you talking to? Lady Aralax, head of the Dublin branch of the Unavowed. It is no secret the threats have been escalating. I had hoped to appeal for aid and fill up our ranks. Alas, we are on our own. I respect Lady Aralax, but I should have known better. Never ask a dragon for anything. You will always regret it. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about the Unavowed? I might know a thing or two about that. Well, spit it out. Did I hear that right? You were speaking to a dragon? A dragon at the head of the Dublin branch of the Unavowed, yes. She is old, stuck in her ways. I suppose the same can be said of most of us. What is that crystal? Some kind of magic phone? A magic phone? I suppose that is one way of describing it. There are shards of this crystal in every branch of the Unavowed. It allows us to communicate for whatever good that does. Call the meeting. Yes, duty calls. I have appealed once more for aid. It has been rejected. Huh, this is my surprised face. Why do you bother with those cowards, father? Show some respect. They are correct. Stubborn, but correct. Why won't they help us? Aren't we on the same team? Only to a degree. The rules are clear. Each branch is responsible for its own defense and recruitment. In this respect, I have been negligent. So have all the branches, Father. A sudden rise in threats would have caught any city unprepared. And we're that city. Lucky us. I shall appeal again, rest assured. In the meantime, let us go over last night's events. I almost got crushed by a giant ice block. You seem fine to me. As for the others, daughter, I trust you have recuperated from your ordeal with the fire elemental. I have. There do not appear to be any other ill effects. So you aren't entirely positive. I took all the necessary precautions, but one is never entirely positive. Then I will have to accept that. However, I am deeply concerned that this mundane was able to acquire such a powerful spell in the first place. I gave it to him. Or rather, my demon self did. Yes, but why? Why would a demon do such a thing? Why do demons do anything? To create havoc, obviously. Why else? No, this was too focused, too targeted. We are not dealing with a mindless spirit bent on chaos and destruction. This demon had a plan, a purpose. We need to learn what it was. I wish I could remember. Fortunately, you won't have to. Ah, I know that look. You did as I asked, Mage Beckett? Yes, I did, sir. And it worked. Well, working. It's not quite done yet. What are you referring to? Oh, the ritual knife. I did a thaumaturgic scan on it. Thoma what? It's a, a magic thing. Checking objects for imbued magical energy. And I hit Paydirt. The knife was imbued with a very specific energy signature. Your demon's energy, to be precise. It's connected to you, and you alone. That's why you were the only one who could use it properly. Which means we can track it. Great, let's go get it. Uh, yeah, about that. The demon's out of your body now. Its energy signature has changed. I can only track where it's been when it was in your body. I'm not sure I want to know. Well, 
I'll tell you this for sure. It was all over the map. I'm trying to narrow it down to the areas of greatest activity, but it's slow going. So far, the scan's got you pegged in two places. The Bronx, around Gun Hill Station, and Staten Island, by the ferry terminal. So we go and do... what? Just look around? It's a tactic that's worked well for us so far. Very well. Check both areas for void activity, and any sign of the demon. We'll show those idiots on the council what New York is made of. Meeting adjourned. The Bronx and Staten Island? <sighs> Good thing I refilled my Metro card last week. The hour grows late, and the trail grows cold. Let us be off. Alright, let's go. Eli, you are tapping the edge of your book. I am? Yes, it is quite... aggressive. Huh, mine must have wandered. Sorry about that. I'll stop. Thank you. Alright, let's try the Bronx first. I have not been to this area since the 70s. It was a dangerous place to be in those days. No kidding. The fire, the crimes, the urban decay. I don't blame you. Evening, folks. Lousy night to be out, huh? Oh, damn, doesn't bother me much. Not as long as I have my jitter juice here. Has anything strange happened in the area recently? I work the subway lately. I see five strange things before noon. You're gonna need to be a lot more specific than that. Thanks, see you around. Stay dry out there. All right, east to a residential area or to the corner. Let's go to the corner. Oh, there's a poster for a golden wake. And that's really it, I'm screwed. And this is... kind of... weird. Why am I telling you all this? I've got a face people trust. You just couldn't help it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you could run for mayor. Still doesn't solve my problem. I just... don't know what to do. I knew that room at the Eddings house was too good to be true. I knew it! It's obvious what you need to do. Obvious to you, maybe. Me, I'm drawing a blank. What do you suggest? You just need to get a bit... creative. Maybe we should bring a pillow along next time. Hush. She is waking up. Anyone got any aspirin? Uh, no. I don't think that would help with demon flashback visions in any case. You... seem... okay. My body is adjusting to demon visions. Great. A body can adjust to anything if it needs to. Heck, I've got fire magic in my blood. What did the woman in the vision say? The Eddings house? Something to go on. We have achieved more with much less. Let's get moving then. Guess that's it on this corner. We'll go back to the residential area. I like that there's an ad here for a Golden Wake, which is a much earlier game from Wadjet. I think they published it. An ad for some kind of historical drama. You're a bit out of touch as far as pop culture goes. Let's head this way. A half crumpled brick lies forgotten on the sidewalk. I'll take that. Hey, hold up. That's a residential area. We can't just go wandering around without knowing where we're going. Indeed. The veil renders us unrecognizable, not invisible. We must gather more information before venturing forth. Alrighty. 
see if this guy has anything more to say. Evening, folks. Do you know where the Eddings place is? Now, why would you be asking about that? I'm sorry. Did I say something wrong? You look upset. Oh, don't be sorry. It's just nasty business, is all. It's at the end of Morgan Ave, just west of here. Thanks very much. Sure. You be careful out there. All right, now we should be able to go back. Cute place. Pretty typical as these things go. I would recommend not trying to lift that. You are of no value to us if you strain your back. All right, muscles, you do it. Levering that door open would require more strength than I possess. What's up? Right with you. What? No surprise there. That'll do it for this episode. Next time, we figure out how to get inside.